Welcome to Unknown Theory, in today's video we will be going over the theory of Moses and the burning bush and why, according to researchers, he saw God. Disclaimer, we can't confirm any of the theories or stories we talk about in our channel, all stated information is purely for entertainment purposes. Anyone with some kind of religious knowledge knows who Moses is, the most important prophet in Judaism, an important prophet in Christianity, Islam, and a number of other Abrahamic religions. He is considered to be the savior of the Israelites from being an enslaved minority of the Egyptians. And according to the Bible, Moses led them out of Egypt, to Mount Sinai, and then to the Promised Land, all because Moses encountered God, and told him to do it. The Bible says that Moses encountered God on the top of Mount Sinai in the form of an angel, after Moses did not believe it was an angel, God burned the bush in front of him, and the bush burned with fire, but it was never consumed by the flames. Why me? After saving the Israelis, Moses took them to the top of Mount Sinai, where he saw God, and then God gave Moses the famous Ten Commandments. But according to an Israeli researcher, all of these events were caused because of a DMT trip. Veni Shannon, a professor of cognitive philosophy at Hebrew University, argues that Mount Sinai is home to the acacia tree and the Peganum harmala bush. What we know is that the native acacia trees are particularly high in DMT content and the Peganum harmala is rich with MAOI, a DMT inhibitor which allows the DMT compound to be activated orally. These plants are also found in the South American Amazon, and are famous for their spiritual rituals from a drink called ayahuasca. Shannon says that the effects of DMT can be very strong and at the same time make you believe and see things. Shannon admits he took some of these drugs while in the Amazon in 1991. I experienced visions that had spiritual religious connotations, he said. Had Moses partaken in the ancestral, ceremonial brew, it would have certainly induced a powerful, lengthy vision quest during which he could have experienced vivid hallucinations, revelational thoughts, internal struggles, and connectivity with the divine. A disassociation with the passage of time is also an experience commonly associated with DMT. Shannon suggests that's why Moses thought the bush was not consumed. It should have been burned in the time he thought had passed. And at that time, he heard God speaking to him. In the philosophy journal Time and Mind, Benny Shannon states that key events of the Old Testament are actually records of visions by ancient Israelites high on hallucinogens. Encountering the divine is one of the most powerful experiences associated with high-level ayahuasca inebriation, says Shannon. In summary, the burning bush story, covered in flames but mysteriously not consumed, there was no miracle, just a drug-induced radical alteration in the state of consciousness of the beholder, that being Moses. The event of the children of Israel hearing God while camped at Mount Sinai is about a mass drug-taking event giving a whole new explanation for the reported cloud of smoke that settled on the mountain. And when Moses climbed Sinai and received the Ten Commandments and the Bible, he was tripping. Did you also know that Noah's Ark was built off of acacia trees, which, in Shannon's theory, is why it was so deeply respected? He also says that the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden was something way more deep than a simple apple tree. This may sound as stupid superstitions, but when you think about it, the same Bible states facts that can lead to understand the usage of drugs throughout it by different characters. Also know that the mechanics for a psychedelic experience already exist in our brain, consuming drugs is just the easiest way to unlock that mode of our brain. Meditation can also unlock spiritual experiences. Drugs like DMT are just a certain type of key for unlocking that mode. Note that Jesus also talked a lot about the keys to the kingdom of heaven. I don't know what you think, but that sure seems like a subliminal message he's trying to send. Let us know in the comments your opinions about this theory, also don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time.